You want to know how multi-criteria decision analysis works? Just imagine you've been asked to buy fruits for the whole family, and you're looking for bananas. You go to the fruit store and there are all kinds of different bananas. Very yellow ones, green ones, ripe bananas, small bananas, and those which should have been eaten yesterday. Which one should you choose? The cheapest? But look at those in more detail. These are too old, they're bad quality. The other cheap ones are too small, and actually they're not that cheap at all. The yellow ones look perfect, but they cost a lot of money. One smells delicious and it comes at a special price, but we must eat it immediately. The green ones we can keep for a long time, but the taste is uncertain. There are so many criteria to consider, and there seem to be trade-offs between these choices. This is where you can use an MCDA. Multiple Criteria Decision Analysis So how does MCDA work? Let me explain it stepwise. The first important step is to define your objective. What do you want to achieve? For example, to find those bananas which give you the best value for money. Then you need to define criteria which help to measure the value for money of bananas. Price is important to you, but there are others. Smell, origin, durability, the cost effectiveness, and quality. Next, you need to consider how important each of the criteria is to you. Quality could be the most important and influence 35% of your decision. Shelf life is also important to you. Price per kilogram, price and smell are all somewhat important, and where they come from or how they were grown. Now you list your choices of bananas and rate each of them for each criterion. The best performing option gets the highest number of points and the worst performing option the lowest, two, one, and zero. Now you can see that it's not always the same banana which performs best and you have to accept a few trade-offs. Now we need to calculate. Each rating is multiplied by the weight of the criterion to determine the score for each option and criterion. Then you add up all the scores for each banana option. Then you select the winner banana. Here it's the middle one, which smells so nice but will have to be eaten soon. You could also decide to buy a mix of the two or three best performers. Now, you may wonder what that means for making decisions on medicines. Well, there's a lot of similarity in the decision process. You want those medicines helping you to achieve your healthcare objectives which may be to improve health of your population to ensure safety of and access to therapies. The evaluation criteria could be relating to the product, such as the proof for bioequivalence, or the formulation of the packaging. The manufacturer, are they GMP certified? What's their supplier reliability track record, or do they invest locally? The service. Do they maintain a pharmacovigilance database in your country? Do they offer valuable services to the patients or to pharmacists? And to value. Which evidence proves the cost effectiveness of the product? Are there good data on patient health outcomes? With this, you can build your MCDA framework. Together with the stakeholders concerned by your decision, you weight the importance of your criteria. Then you can test and use the evaluation to assess which of your options performs best versus your criteria. MCDA offers a well-structured decision process for drug procurement, formulary listing, reimbursement, and pricing, which is robust and transparent towards all stakeholders.